Okay, okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. I just kind of want to, again, thank everyone for being here this morning. Oh, to hear um, Donya speak. I met her uh, maybe about a year ago through a women's networking group. And she actually spoke at one of And so I thought she'd be a great speaker for us. She kind of scared me a little bit. But I'll let you guys hear her story as far as why I felt that way. So with that being said, um, I just kind of want to just touch a little bit on it. She's been in the, uh, the field of the natural health and wellness for over 16 years. And she's going to tell you maybe a little bit about why she got involved in uh, what she's doing to doing and doing an excellent job. Um, that's pretty much it. I just, want, I just really want her to take over since she probably needs more time than I can. She's going to. Sorry. She's going to um, talk about what she's going to talk about. So um, with no more further ado, I'm going to pass out some flyers so that you guys will have some of the information that she's going to cover this morning. So welcome again. And I know it was real difficult for you to get here at 7.15 in the morning, but I thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and congratulations on all the awards and the celebrations. And I was excited when Gloria invited me to come here to do this, and she said, you have to be here at 7. And I was like, 7 a.m.? <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's just say mornings are not exactly my prime time. <laughs> so uh, if you see me stumbling around here with a clicker, you'll know why. <laughs> so um, just out of curiosity, let me see if we can point uh, it this way. Yeah, I'll have to point it. Okay. Yeah, not at the screen. <laughs> Uh, anybody here struggle with or know someone that struggles with one or more of these? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. These, are, these are very common symptoms. A lot of people struggle with them, especially women, especially. Uh, but there are also signs of a, a deeper underlying problem. Right? Mm -hmm. There can be symptoms of a, 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 a problem that if you don't resolve it, you know, if you don't take care of it, it could come back to bite you in a big way, you know, at a later point in time. So you can think of them as messages that your body is sending to you, like those signals. And the question is, can you decipher what these messages are, and do you know what kind of actions you need to take when you get those messages, right? Most people don't really have the confidence to be able to do this themselves, so they typically rely on physicians or other types of healthcare practitioners to fix these problems for them. Now we think that the medical and alternative health communities have all the answers, but they don't. There's more to this picture than meets the eye. So we live in an increasingly toxic world that's creating, constantly creating new health challenges that can't be easily resolved using sort of the one size fits all cookie cutter approach that we typically get from the traditional medicine. So, anybody familiar with this woman, Suzanne Summers? In her latest book, Toxic, From Toxic to Not Sick, she calls out something that many of us in the alternative and natural health world have known for quite some time now, which is that the epidemic of disease that we're facing today, every kind of different forms of cancer, autoimmune, Alzheimer's, depression, attention deficit, kidney disease, liver, all of these are, and this is her quote, the result of the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. Now, she has a, I'm gonna read just a little passage from her book for you here, because I feel like it really um, succinctly captures, I can find it. <laughs> so, like a glass that can't hold another drop, the next smallest chemical exposure causes overflow, and then the symptoms, big and small, start to plague us. So we go to the doctor and are given pills. Soon we're even more sluggish, toxic, and feel even worse. The illnesses take on many forms, but they all go back to the original cause, which is toxins. Okay. I know this isn't a very sexy topic, and it may even be a little scary, as Gloria mentioned that I scared her a little bit, and it's a little bit unpleasant to think about, but the good news here is that taking action is a lot easier than you may think. Once you know where and how it is you're being compromised, then that's a little bit of what I'm going to share with you this morning. So, 
So during this time that we have together, I'm going to show you how to prevent or get rid of health problems that diminish your quality of life, how to take back control of your health so you don't waste time or money on unnecessary insurance expense, uh, doctor's office visits, or medications that don't really serve you, and I'm going to show you how to quickly cut through all the clutter and the noise and understand what it is you really need to focus on to get healthy and stay strong and how to put the brakes on premature aging so you can look and feel 10 years younger in your body. How does that sound? Good. Is that good? Yeah. Cool. So this is going to benefit you if one of these statements applies to you. So if you sometimes have trouble keeping up with the demands of life and you feel like your productivity is being hampered, or you often have a recurring or frustrating health problem that doctors and medications can't seem to fix and you're tired of relying on them for that, or you just want to feel more confident that the lifestyle choices you're making are working for you and not against you. Or you worry about getting sick as you age and just like to know what you can start doing now to ensure a long, healthy life. Okay, so this is obviously a big subject, way beyond the scope of what I could cover in a short amount of time I have with you today. So I'm going to do my best to give you as, with as much valuable information that I can, and I promise at the end I'll show you how you can get more information and put what you learn here to use for you. So let's talk about these messages that our body is sending us, right? These messages are from the brain, okay? Our brain is like command central. It is constantly receiving sensory input from the outside world, processing that information, and then using it to send signals to our body's organ systems and different body parts to make sure that our bodies continue to function the way that they're supposed to function in light of or in spite of this constantly changing input and information. So as long as the communication channel between your body and your brain is open and flowing freely, then you're good. Where the trouble starts is when the signals start to get a little bit muddled or confused, right? So the truth is our bodies are talking to us all the time. And for some people, the bodies might actually be screaming at you, but you can't hear what it's saying because there's so much noise going on inside you that the signals are getting muddled or just plain drowned out. Now, the way that the signals get muddled, there's a lot of different ways that that can happen. So it can happen when we experience a physical or emotional trauma. It can happen when our, when our hormones or our nutrition are out of balance, and both of those things are actually quite closely related. And so hormonal balances are usually the result of nutritional issues or deficiencies. It can also happen if we have hidden viruses or low-level infections in the body, and these are a lot more common than you might think. Many of us actually may be carrying these around with us for years, maybe even decades. And because they're hidden, we don't know they're there, but they're causing a lot of issues for us. And actually, it's one of the most overlooked, sorry for that little thing flying around there. <laughs> Where but is that? Thing? I don't it's know. Right right out in here. Here. Oh, is it in front of the screen? <coughs> yeah. Is it me or is no. it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, <am I> <laughs> it's like fat with a balancing ball. Um, yeah, so hidden viruses and, and, and low level infections, by the way, it's one of the most overlooked potential sources for autoimmune conditions. So if you know people that have autoimmune, they could actually be having viruses that are causing all these problems and they start to mount and get worse over time. The other way is when too many toxins get into the body, but they don't get out, and that's what I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about. And then, of course, it can also happen when you take too much or the wrong kind of medications. So just cu out of curiosity here, does anybody know how, much, how many medications the average person over 65 takes? Here in the United States? Two. So according to WebMD.com, average person over 65 takes seven different medications a day. Four prescribed and three over the counter. Is anybody curious to know about how, how effective medication is in actually helping people? <laughs> So get this, according to the worldwide VP of genetics for GlaxoSmithKline, which is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, more than 90% of the drugs on the market only work in 30 to 50% of the people that take them. So I have to say that if you rely on medication to solve your health issues, those are not very good odds, wouldn't you agree? <coughs> not, not great, right? So the, the main point I want you to get from that is your health is not a one-size-fits-all prescription. Okay, so from a practical standpoint, the way that you can lower the signal-to-noise ratio you know, between your brain and your body 
is to keep making smarter, healthier lifestyle choices and continuously work to reduce your exposure to unnecessary harm and increase natural support. And that's really the only way that you can be sure that you're not the one that's actually contributing to your own illness or your own health problems. It can also really help to increase your lifespan and support you in aging gracefully and beautifully. So if I have to boil it all down for you, it comes to creating awareness around three simple things. What are you putting in your mouth? Oh boy. <laughs> what are you rubbing on your skin? And what are you allowing into your environment? Meaning, what are you breathing in every day? Right? What are you surrounding yourself with now? These are, you know, what I tell people is there's a lot of things in the world that we have like no control over, right? Bigger issues and things. But these three things are things you actually have a tremendous amount of control over. And avoiding the toxic pitfalls that are common to these three areas can make a huge difference in your health and the way you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. And as I said, it can increase your lifespan and support you in aging gracefully. So um, I myself struggled, so my story basically is I struggled for almost two decades with multiple chronic health problems that doctors and medications couldn't resolve until I finally took it on myself to figure out how to do it. And I figured out what it takes to heal yourself and to, um, you know, to get and stay healthy and strong. So I'm gonna just share real quick with you some of my results. Over the last 25 years, I can count on one hand the number of times I've been in a physician's office. And the last one is actually 12 years ago this month. Wow. wow. Okay. And during the same period of time, I'm taking no prescription drugs or antibiotics. Okay. I've radically reduced my consumption of over-the-counter medication. And in fact, I keep only one non-plant-based medicine in my, um, you know, in my bathroom cabinet, and I use it very sparingly. Okay. And I can say I'm in my mid-50s, and I can say I've never felt better now than I do now, you know, my entire adult life. And ironically, a lot of my younger friends, people that I've met over the last couple of years, they often are shocked when I share with them my real age. <laughs> they feel like they just can't believe it. They always think I'm about 10 years younger than I say I am. And I share that with you. I'm not trying to brag or impress. I'm just trying to uh, illustrate a point, which is that you can heal and resolve your health challenges without medication and doctors. And in fact, you can actually prevent all these things if you have a strategy or an action plan that keeps you in system action to protect and nurture your immune system, right? So your immune system is really key, and when I work more closely with people, that's the first thing we look at. So I look at what are the different lifestyle choices that they're making or their habits that keep them in a perpetually weakened state, and then we shift them out of that into healthier alternatives. Okay, so my odyssey, <laughs> just to give you a little bit more background on how I wound up over here <laughs> for where I'm doing what I'm doing today, as Gloria said. Um, I started, uh, my problem started when I was in college, my 20s. I had a variety of minor but recurrent chronic health problems. Everything from migraines, I had chronic fatigue, I had irritable bowel syndrome 25 years ago, they were telling me this. Uh, allergies, uh, sinusitis, bronchitis, and then I had adult onset asthma. And to be, if I'm going to be really honest with anybody, all those things to combine paled in comparison to the dreadful eczema that I developed in my 30s and that dogged me for seven years. I went to a parade of dermatologists, one after the other, seeking answers and solutions, and I got none. Not a single one of them could tell me what was causing the problem, and not a single one of them offered me a different approach or alternative. And so I just, I was so frustrated. <laughs> And stressed, actually, because I kept thinking to myself, well, if we can't figure out what's causing this problem and we can't get to the bottom of it, how are we ever going to fix it, right? Is this going to have to be, I have to accept this as my new normal, you know, from now on? How many people here have had, you know, an ongoing health issue or condition? You've had it for so long, you've just come to accept it and you continue, you know, it's your new normal and you just continue to live with it. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't be ashamed. Raise oh. your hand. Oh, yeah. Raise my head. Yeah. <laughs> Jake. Jake, <laughs> Isn't it amazing how how you know how much we're willing to suffer and how much we're willing to how long we're willing to tolerate these things in our lives? Uh, try not to make a big joke out of it. I brought her really, here for you, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> <It's so laughs> amazing, right? Um, so yeah. Welcome to your non normal. Would you like a side of fries for that? And this is a little bit of a joke, obviously, because I wouldn't be where I am today if I was still eating McDonald's French fries. Um, so I can tell you that it was my absolute, you know, 
refusal to accept that as my new normal that sort of rapidly catapulted me onto a path of natural health and wellness. You know, I had to take this on myself and figure it all out. It took a long time, but I was determined to do it. And it's why I'm really passionate today about helping others learn how to eliminate their toxic exposure and use natural drug-free solutions to resolve their health challenges. Okay? So basically, uh, you know, long story short, I, went to, I finally went to my primary care physician instead of yet another dermatologist and told her what had been going on. And she really had nothing new or different to offer me either. And it was that point where I kind of really hit the wall. And I was like, oh my God, like how much worse could it be if I just stopped doing this and did something else? And that's kind of how we, how we did that. So I found my initial salvation with aromatherapy. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's just the use of essential oils. I created a blend of essential oils that I applied topically, and it was way more effective than any over-the-counter solution that I had used to control my itching and the inflammation. And it was almost as strong as the cortisone shots had been taken, but I didn't have to worry about all those nasty side effects. So after all of that little discovery, I had one more outbreak of the eczema, so I applied my little topical blend, and I supplemented it with a liver, an herbal tincture for liver support. And when that episode cleared up, I was completely free of any skin trouble for 10 years. That's, that's pretty cool, right? That's what I call a true meaning of flower power. <laughs> so this is one like simple natural solution just forever changed the way I looked at my health because it opened up a whole, whole new world of possibilities for me. And I just kind of went deeper from that. And by the way, it was also the inspiration for starting Dropwise Essentials, which is my line of uh, aromatherapy and adaptational care products. And I do have some product samples if anybody's interested in checking them out. The first, this a blend that I created for my eczema was the first blend in the product line called Soothe, appropriately. <laughs> so I wanna, let's jump ahead and talk about the three secrets to a long, healthy life. Okay. The first one is avoiding health snatchers. And these are the top three, what I believe to be the top three contributing factors to chronic health problems and ultimately to terminal illness. The second is uncover and dismantle your hidden health minds. And that is the three ways, the three primary ways your health is being compromised every day without your knowledge. And then finally, you know, investing in yourself and getting support because staying on the path can be a challenge, right? Uh, so don't try to go it alone if you really want to. <coughs> So these are health snatchers. I call them health snatchers. These are the core root causes of all health problems. So chronic inflammation, hormonal imbalance. And when I talk about hormonal imbalances, I'm not just talking about reproductive hormones. We're talking about every kind of hormone in your body, right? From stress hormones, your digestive hormones, you know, your insulin, your leptin, and your ghrelin, all these crazy things your adrenals, your thyroid, all of it. And again, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of that is tied to nutrition and diet. And likewise, likewise with chronic inflammation, although both chronic inflammation and hormonal balances can come from exposure to toxicity. I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a second here. And then last but not least is immune system weakness. And I talked about the importance of your immune system. If you have a weak or compromised immune system, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting over even the smallest health challenge. And that's why that's really important to pay attention to. And again, if you have these conditions in the body and they go unresolved for one period of time, they eventually turn into silent killers. So secret number two, and this is the one we're going to focus on for the rest of the time that we have here. So I call them your hidden health minds, and these are chemicals and toxins that hide out in your food, your personal care products, and your household products and finishings. And I came up with these nifty little names to help you remember them. So party crashers are your drugs, your <laughs> medicinal and recreational, your food, uh, your, your petty culprits are the personal care products, and then uh, space invaders are the things in your environment, mostly your home environment, but also your office, your workspace, your modes of transportation, all that there kind of fun stuff. So um, if we have more time together to give you the skinny on the food, the health minds and the food, because it is such a really important area, but it's such a big topic, it, you know, it warrants its own you know, separate talk. Um, so I'm going to focus on today the petty culprits, because I feel like that's the number one most overlooked <coughs> trigger for health snatchers. Okay? And not surprisingly, it's not even on most doctors' radars as something that you should be concerned about or even give any thought to. So let's look at the shocking truth here. We all carry something called a body burden. Science has validated this now. And it refers to the accumulation of chemicals in our bodies. And if you remember the passage I read from Suzanne's book about the overflow, like the glass overflowing, you can think of the overflow as your body burden. 
So, and this applies primarily to women because women use a lot of makeup and personal care products, but men, you're not exempt. <laughs> but these are some shocking statistics, okay? The average woman uses 12 personal care products a day. Each one contains 168 different chemicals. Uh, and it's estimated that the average woman is exposed to over 2,000 chemicals daily from personal care products alone. Okay? And if that's not bad enough, okay, 89% of over 10,000 chemicals that are used in personal care products have never been tested for safety, not for health or the environment. And 50% of the ones that have been tested have been deemed questionable or unsafe. <laughs> Only 30 ingredients here have been flagged as harmful, but they're still widely used and present in personal care products. And just as a point of comparison, we're like way behind the European Union, who more than 10, 15 years ago banned over a thousand different ingredients that they felt were potentially harmful to pregnant women and unborn children. So let me just say this, if you think the FDA has your back, <laughs> it doesn't. So uh, you have to be your first line of defense when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, and here's why this is so important. Okay? Your skin is the largest organ in your body. Okay? And the second after your mouth, it's the second fastest entry point. And ironically, you're actually safer ingesting a chemical or toxin than absorbing it through your skin because your body has a built-in mechanism for rapidly ejecting it. So if you've ever had food poisoning, you know what I'm talking about, right? But when we absorb chemicals through the skin or inhale inhalation, the body doesn't really have a way to deal with that. So what it does in order to protect you is it envelops the toxins in fat, fatty tissue, right? So what I'm talking about, some of these things that I'm talking about here are <laughs> endocrine disrupting chemicals. Endocrine meaning they knock around with our hormones. And in this case, it is reproductive. They've been tied to issues with fertility, reproductive health, and even breast cancer. Um, and now there's a new class of endocrine disrupting chemicals called obesogens, okay? And some research has shown it increased body fat by 36%. <coughs> Uh, so if weight is a challenge or an issue, then that's something to consider, you know, how toxic are you and is that contributing to your weight? Now, I want to just share with you real quick, one of the most insidious ways that EDCs can come into our life is through scented products, okay? Because many scents are, uh, contain a dangerous chemical called phthalates. And phthalates are like complex composites of chemicals that combine with other ingredients to create fragrance. So when you see that term fragrance or parfum on the label, and I have a little sample for you over there, um, suspect, suspicious. Phthalates are in, used in industry, they're plasticizers. That means they're used to soften plastics. And so imagine if they can soften plastics, what they might do in the floor <laughs> inside your body. I mean, I know I wouldn't want anything like that floating around in me or to knowingly inhale it. And unfortunately, you won't see it on a label. They're exempt from FDA labeling requirements because it's not a finished ingredient, it's a component of an ingredient. So the only way you can be sure that you're not exposing yourself to that is to make sure you're using products that are scented without 100% pure essential oils. Okay? And here's just some examples of where phthalates hide out. Okay? Personal care, air freshener, household, scented, laundry, you know, real common stuff. And then the fake, like your Glade aromatherapy plug-in kind of products. So I know this is a lot to take in, and it's a little scary, <laughs> especially if you're hearing it just for the first time. But how many of you here get from what I shared today that you, you, how your health could be radically improved if you could uncover your hidden health yes. lines? Okay, so you know this brings me to the last secret, which is investing in yourself and getting support. Because knowing where and how your health is being compromised is critical and important, but it really is just the first step. And taking that information and turning it to a lasting lifestyle transformation, it takes more. You know, creating sustainable wellness the sex takes effort and persistence. And if, like, if you've ever made a New Year's resolution to quit smoking or lose weight, you know how easy it is to get off track, right? Or to just give up, you know? So it starts by making a commitment to putting your health first, yourself and your health first, right? And, um, and then getting the guidance and support you need to do that. So in my opinion, having a sustainable wellness success requires having clearly stated health goals, an action plan to help you get where you want to go, a framework or a context for understanding what to focus on, right? Direct your focus, and I shared some of that with you today. Some simple strategies to get you into consistent action, and then a trusted advisor who's walked the path you want to walk, 
company to travel to guide you, and last but not least, a support system to keep you accountable and on track. So how many of you are ready to take control of your health by uncovering your personal health minds? Yeah! <laughs> with you. I, I'd like to make you a special offer, which is that, oh. oh, could you, we don't have much time, but could you mention one actual product? You've been doing summaries, but like what, what one product did you have trouble with? Well, because of my skin issues, the thing I looked at first was moisturizer. And I started, I became an obsessive label reader, was really what happened. So I started reading all the ingredients and, and questioning, what's that, and why is it in there, and all this kind of stuff. And I think, um, so moisturizers, uh, I don't look at also your oral care products, like your mouthwash, your toothpaste, all of them have chemicals in there. And, but there are natural alternatives that you don't, so you don't need to use those, but you need to know that that's a problem before you start to look for a better option. So I just want to offer to you, if anybody's interested, I have set aside a couple of spots in my calendar over the next two weeks for a complimentary wellness success discovery session with me, okay? And that's a private 60-minute phone consultation. It's valued at $497. And I do first come, first serve. And basically what we'll do is take a look at what are your health goals? Like where is it that you want to be with your health or you're not there now? What might be getting in the way of you having what you want? and then what your best next move is to get from there to where you want to go. Okay. And if you, if you want to discuss what it looks like to work with me, we could talk about that as well. Okay. And I've got a little sign-up sheet. If anyone's interested, come and see me. I have a product you can check out. <laughs> um, and if you enjoyed this and found this valuable and you know of any other groups who could benefit from it, please let me know. I welcome all referrals and introductions. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Wait, can you say a little after? Where are you located? I'm in San Francisco. Oh, San Francisco? Yeah. Okay. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. <laughs>